Hello and welcome to this episode of Acrino's Access. Uh, I'm Eric Matei, and in this episode, we are talking about a, a topic that's near and dear to my heart, and I would imagine your heart as well, and that is giving back and ways that you can support causes through your optometry practice. And for this episode, I've got a very special guest uh, joining, and that is uh, Adam Hyman. And uh, Adam is the VP of product at Visualize Eyewear, which is a, uh, a, a really remarkable company doing really great things based out of Florida. But, but the reason why he's here is really to talk about something they have done and really blazing this trail and paving this way for practices to be able to give back, give back to their communities and give back to, to causes that they can support. Um, so what better way to uh, to jump into this than uh, to introduce Adam Hyman. Welcome to Acrinos Access, Adam. Eric, I, uh, I appreciate it. Thank you for having me on the show. And uh, I look forward to, to it. We've had great conversations so far. And you're so right, like philanthropy and giving back, especially these days coming out of COVID and all that, it is beyond important for every practice. And it's a huge thing. If you haven't got involved in it, there's many ways that you can start getting into it. Absolutely. Absolutely. And look, I know something that kind of sparked us to, to this is a, uh, an idea we had going back a few weeks. We realized that, hey, the month of May, Mental Health Awareness Month. Yeah. And I know one of the causes that you all support at Visualize um, is mental health through your Peace Love line. And we're, we're going to get to that in just a little bit. But I want to start with just kind of talking a little bit about, you know, just some really cool novel ways that practices can get involved in in supporting their community. So look, you realize, I mean, now more than ever, it's really important to to support uh, to support one another through various ways. So, um, you know, what are some ways that you've seen modern ODs, modern opticals, really get out there and support causes? I think it's huge, and a good way to do that, I think, is just talking to your employees, talking to your customers, kind of see what's out there and. Maybe don't jump into it right away. Maybe it takes a month where you ask the same question to your employees multiple times. You ask, do some surveys, see what's out there in your community. And then something might just bing. And you, you realize this is the organization that is right for us to team up with. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. So, so, so as it pertains to some of the some of the actual things that practices can do, I know before we went live here, you were tossing out, right. actually, you rattled off a couple of really cool ideas about having different, you know, sales production goals, like just a variety yeah. of ways that folks can can get involved in do that stuff. So what have, what have you noticed? I know you said kind of the starting point is to maybe get your team involved, you right. know, poke around the community. Um, so when you do identify these things, how have you seen different ways that practices can can leverage some some of these tactics in the practice? Well, for like you said, this is Mental Health Awareness Month, and we do have a collection called Peace Love that helps support mental health. So it's been a busy time for us where we'll send out displays, we'll give marketing materials, we'll give out t-shirts to customers who are involved with us and they'll put on these sales competitions where to see how much they can raise, how much, who can get the most donations, whatever they have to do to get that engagement in their, in their neighborhood, in their community and in their practice. Right, yeah. So, and, and what have you seen, I mean, uh... I know some practices, and I know in my years around the industry, seeing different times when doctors have gotten on with some with some big things. I mean, what are some far out things that you've seen practices do and really we, make we it too, happen? Yeah, we're, so we've, the, the, honestly, you just get a game plan with, with your team and build up to it. So let, let, let the community know, let your team know that in a month we're going to start this and then everyone's getting bought in and bought in and we're providing you with marketing materials to, to really let your team know what's going on, how this is going to help, what this what these donations are going to go towards, and then relying that to the consumer, the end consumer, and that's when some real magic can happen. Sure, yeah. So, and I know on that uh, on that note, you know, while there's a lot of different ways that right. you can go about supporting causes, I mean, obviously finding ways to do it through, well, through those companies they align with, right? And, and through through opportunity they can find there. So why don't you speak a little bit about, about Visualize Eyewear and how you all got into this? And maybe for starters, maybe just share a brief background or on the company. Right, so my dad, it's a, it's a family, family business. So my dad, Ray, he started the company 
and 99 out of our garage. I had a two shelving rack, so half the stuff on the shelving rack was baseball mitts and gloves with my, me and my twin brother, and the other half was some frames. And now we have over 30,000 square feet, so it's gotten bigger and bigger and bigger throughout the years, and we call on, uh, on ECPs and retail chains throughout the country, and everything we do is at a, at a value base. So we want to, at every price point, we want to be the value player in that price point sure. to where we can pass those margins on to you. Yeah. Yeah. So, okay. So when you, and by the way, folks, if uh, you can check out, head over to uh, V V E I wear dot com. E E I wear. No, yeah, the double I wear. Dot com. Uh, yeah. For more to, to check that out. But, but I really, I really want to dig into now um, where philanthropy started with you all, right? Cause you all have two remarkable lines. You have stand up to cancer and you've got peace, love, support, right. and mental health. So, where along the way did you guys get involved with philanthropy? So about eight years ago during the World Series, we were watching, we we're as a family watching the World Series. And during game four, everyone stands up with their placard and they say, it all says, I stand up, stand up for cancer. And you'll write on that name, right on that list, who you stand up for. And it's a really touching moment. Everyone will stand up. You could stand up for your dad, your grandfather, your friend. Cancer touches everyone. So we saw that and my dad was like, man, we got to do something. We should, we have to get connected with them. A whole year went by. We didn't do anything. The next year, same thing happened. And we're like, we're calling. So we got on the phone. We, we set up a meeting with Stand Up to Cancer. And it's been great. It, it, we just, from a phone call. It all started from a phone call that led to a meeting. And we've had eight amazing years with them. And we're continuing to grow. And a million success stories out there. So it's, it's beautiful when you really sit back and see how many Stand Up to Cancer frames that we've sold and our customers have sold. And uh, it's really, it's really touching when that happens. That, 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 that's remarkable. That's so, 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 so it started, it started, you said eight years ago, watching the world series, right? Everyone get kind of moved by this, by this experience right. and um, realizing that you all wanted to be a part of it. So, so how did that happen? I mean, what? So like, it just started with, with a phone call and they're going to, yeah, my, my grandfather passed from cancer. And so my dad, it, I mean, we've all lost people to cancer. So my dad was like, I have to do this. So he picked up the phone, figured out who we needed to call. And we just got on, had, had a great conversation with them. And next thing you know, five months down the road, six months down the road, we have an entire collection and we've grown it and grown it and grown it. That's remarkable. That's really awesome. And, and, and you the know, part is, right? The best part is, so we give back a certain percentage of every Stand Up to Cancer frame that we sell, and 100% of those donations goes towards innovative cancer research. So we're doing everything we can to just give cancer a black eye as, yeah, as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Love it. Love it. So it's awesome. And that's and, the best part. And you know what I really like about that, too, is that you had actually mentioned earlier earlier in our conversation here as far as, hey, what, what practices can do, like how to identify the cause, right? right. And, and I think that's really the starting point is – identify the cause it starts with that identification right and then doing what you can do right because i i, I presume that obviously in the eight years or seven years that you guys have been working with organizations like stand up to cancer i mean it, it you right. know it's where it is now but it took time to get to where it is now but you got to start somewhere you, you know that's the thing you have to start somewhere just start somewhere and all it takes is a call and reaching out to you. If, if there's an ECP out there and they want to reach out to you, you can maybe connect them with a supplier like us, or maybe it's another organization. Maybe you realize uh, it's, it's Boys and Girls Club in your neighborhood that you want to partner with. It doesn't even have to be frames. It's just, if, if you get involved with someone, I think that can help create that special sauce for your typical practice that can separate you from the practice down the street. Absolutely. Love it. Love it. Okay. So we talked a little bit about the, the background and how you all got into this, right? Um, yeah. Eight years ago, watching the World Series, everybody's like, hey, you know what? We can do something about it. Let, let's go for it. Um, yeah. Share with me a little bit now. Again, when we're recording this, May of 2023, right. Mental Health Awareness Month. Um, how did you all get involved with uh, the Peace Love Line? Where did that originate? It was actually through a customer of ours. They worked with a guy, Jeffrey Spar, who's one of the co-founders of Peace Love and the artist behind all the Peace Love work. And they said, hey, you got to meet this guy. And we went up there for a meeting. We sat down and we actually were able to take part of one of the workshops that they put on to help 
bring mental health awareness and help people cope with mental health through paint and through art. And uh, we got hooked right off the bat and we connected the same way as we did with Stand Up to Cancer. And it's it's been an amazing collaboration. We've been doing huge things together and that's how it all got started. That so, is, that's uh, yeah, awesome. the, the creator of Peace Love, Jeffrey Spar, was a, was a Division One athlete at Ohio State and he was suffering from severe mental health and he didn't know what was going on. And then he got diagnosed with severe OCD and a friend of him, a friend of his reached out and said, hey, why don't you try painting? And he had never painted a day in his life. And sure enough, he went into a paint store and he hasn't stopped since. So we've been able to take those paintings and put them on frames. And it is awesome. Oh, it's vibrant. You see it, it'll light up your store. And, uh, and it, it's been amazing. So the donations from there that we give back a, a portion of sales to um, Peace Love, and they're able to go into underprivileged communities throughout the country and put on these workshops for kids or adults, whoever to come in and get that mental health awareness and, and find peace of mind. Yeah. Oh man. I love it. I love it, Adam. Yeah, um, I tell you, man, and, and, I, and I know we, we've been having some emails back and forth and we had a nice right. conversation before hitting record here. I feel like we could go on and on on this topic. Right. And, and the fact is, is that, and I think the, the important message that we really want to leave viewers with is man, look, everybody's got their cause, right? Mm -hmm. Um, it, it, you know, it could be stand up to cancer. It could be peace love. It could be anything out there. But you know, to if, if it is a cause, and you want to do it. You want to be part of the change. It's it's man. You, you totally you totally can. So I'd like to take a take our last couple moments. Um, we just kind of want to share with folks. You know, I know one of one of the really cool opportunities in modern optometry and in optical is being able to have lines that support a cause. Right, where, where, right. where your business in in taking care of patients and retailing those lines is also supporting these causes. So why don't you share a little bit how, uh, you know, if this is something that's resonated with our viewers out there, they want to get involved, they want to stand up to cancer, they want to get involved in peace, love. How can they do it with you all's offerings through Visualize? I would love it. Yeah, we would love for you to give us a call here at Visualize, 407-960-2838 uh, or on our website, uh, www.veiwear.com. And just feel free to reach out. I mean, anything that we can do, if if you reach out to Eric or if you reach out to us, we'd love to connect and we'd love to get started with with either Stand Up to Cancer or Peace Love with you. Um, we It starts with a conversation and whatever your needs are, we would love to help fill them. So any, any feel free. Is that to a call out. coming through? Uh -huh, that's a call. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's funny. <laughs> you know, it's funny. We're not live right now. We're recording this. It's going to be re aired later. But it would be really funny if someone was calling that, saying, "Oh yeah, we want to." Hey, that would that would that was perfect timing. I pressed the ring button over here, so it all worked That's out perfect. Funny. That's heated up. That's funny. So, well, yeah, feel, please feel free to reach out. We'd be more than happy to help to to help you get started. Absolutely, absolutely, and uh, yeah, and look, hey, look, view, viewers, as Adam shared earlier, you know, when they get involved in doing this working with practices that want to bring in that stand up to cancer. They want to bring in peace, love, um, visualize Adam and his team are there to provide that support, that marketing, all of, all of those pieces, what have you. So, you know, it's, um, again, man, it's an incredibly exciting time right now in modern eye care with so many advancements in care, in the scope of care, uh, and in products and materials and with novel ways to also give back, you know? Mm -hmm. Um, so, Adam, I guess to kind of to kind of tie things up, you know, how are you all progressing towards your goals for stand up to cancer and, and, and peace love? And don't say you've achieved them. You never know. <laughs> um, go ahead. There's always new ways to, to do it. So, yeah, we have a, a certain number of frames that we want to sell. Um, but it's 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 honestly it's turning into more than that. It's it's the marketing that goes behind it. So the the goal is constantly changing as you get closer you move it to something else or you try and try and think of a different way. It's starting to do these podcasts, starting to do another way to just spread the word about peace, love and stand up to cancer. The more that we can spread it and sell it, um, the better for, for everyone. So it's just trying to think outside the box uh, going forward, I think is, is how we're going to, how we're going to achieve greatness. Love it. Love it. Well, um, 
I'll tell you, Adam, man, again, thank you so much, uh, you and your team at Visualize Eyewear, everything y'all are doing, and particularly, look, on this front as we were talking about, y'all, uh, to our viewers out there, it's such a remarkable time right now to give back. And there are amazing ways that you can support causes through your optometry practice. So um, we hope you found this inspiring. Yeah. Absolutely. If if you want to bring in that peace, love line, you want to bring in stand up to cancer and that, check out the whole portfolio of really cool stuff that Visualize Eyewear does. Yeah. Um, but definitely y'all, Adam, thank you so much for joining us here on Aprino's Access. It was a great time. Thank you for having me. Absolutely, man.